and welcome back to Rad BMX Builds. Thanks for coming along. Today we are going to be driving out to a BMX shop. It's about an hour and a half from Newport Beach. It's in the town of Murrieta out near Temecula, California. And it's called The Secret BMX Shop. Kind of a cool name. I looked them up online. I've known they've been around for years. I've never been there. And when I looked at the photographs, it looked like a pretty big place. So I'm hoping to find you know, maybe some stuff that I can't normally find or a little gem in the corner. Maybe they got something old school that's not online that they're showing. Always on the hunt. I'm looking for BMX bikes. I'm looking for parts. I'm looking for the next build. And I'm trying to get some good content for you guys. So let me know what you think down below. Is this something you like to see me do? Kind of my daily routine of hunting down bikes, building bikes, that kind of stuff. Or do you want how-to videos like build videos or do you like the interviews where I sit down with somebody and do a one-on-one -on -one with like Eddie Fiola or something like that. But today we're going to make some rad content, go out to the bike shop, fingers crossed they got something awesome for us. It's the next morning and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my trip out to the secret BMX shop. So I went out there and honestly it's all new school stuff. Great shop, awesome people, tons of new school stuff, but not much in the department for old school BMX. So that's something I actually want to discuss a little topic on that is it's getting really hard to find parts. I've been to lots of BMX shops around the Southern California area and only a few have repop old school parts or even very little or even less real old school parts. They're getting really hard to find folks. So it's a challenge and I have the same challenge as you do. And people ask me, where do you find your parts? Man, it's a hunt. I'm always looking for old school BMX parts. They're hard to find. There's a link, you know, that I have for an Amazon store that I have repop old school like parts that you can use and that links below eBay is a source, you know, people want to charge an arm and a leg, but you can still find the parts if you're willing to pay those prices. But there are gems still out there and I want you to keep hunting, still try to find those parts. I didn't leave there empty handed, so let me show you what I got. I got two sets of the Sticky Fingers brake lever covers, which I think are cool accent pieces to bikes. I don't necessarily have a bike for them, but I couldn't just leave them there, I wanted them, so I got them. Also found myself a pair of pink trick top dice valve stem caps because I love using dice valve stem caps. I think it's just a good old school touch. And for a current build that I have, I wanted to throw on some pink 
uh, brake pads, which they had there on hand, so I grabbed those as well. And that's all I got. They did give me a whole bunch of stickers, which I thought was really rad, so a shout out to the Secret BMX shop for that. I appreciate that. So right behind me is the next project. As you can see, 1985 Redline. So that's what my plans are uh, for my next build. And that'll be a whole separate video. Up top there, you see a Zoo's electric bike with splatter paint. That's also another project I have. And there's also a Monza bike in the box still in 24 inch. So yeah, I got stuff going on. But more importantly, the next video that I'm gonna shoot is today, and I'm heading out to Race Inc. where I get a full exclusive behind the scenes view and tour and interview with the people at Race Inc. So that'll be the next video. So make sure you're subscribing to this channel so you get to see these videos, this content, these bikes, and just more rad stuff. So let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know where you're finding your old school parts. And please, subscribe to this channel. Helps us grow, helps us make rad content for you. But as always, stay rad.